Hell yeah. Yo, what's going on? Cuts by Reggie back with another tutorial today. It's been a minute, and after recording this, I see that I had the camera a little too low. We working on that. But if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, comment, like, share, all the good stuff. And also, if you dislike the videos, hit the thumbs down. Today, I'm doing a bald head on one of my clients, and this is the Caliber 380. It is adjustable uh, and a detachable clipper at the same time. As you can see, you open and close with the the, the circular notch there. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna start with the, the triple lock blade and just take the bulk down and getting everything as close as possible before, before moving to the next step. As you can see, I am pulling the skin when I'm going against the grain, making sure that I got everything leveled out, trying not to irritate his skin at all. And this clipper again is the caliber 380 uh, but I'm going to show you the difference between a zero gap clipper and uh, the 380 the 380 was good but with this with this zero with this yeah zero gap magic clip I can get the skin a little bit closer uh, making sure still I'm pulling the skin not irritating the skin at all But I did go back to the Caliber 380. I wanted to see how it felt, how it is. Uh, I will be having a review for this on the, I think I, by this time I already dropped the giveaway. So y'all seen the review. But then I'm going over everything with one of my um, trimmers. And I know a lot of people say don't zero gap with your, I mean, don't, uh, don't ball it out with your trimmers. I got a few trimmers. So I use one of my, um, gold babyless fx's to uh bald out it just seems to get especially with the gold fx blade it just seems to get closer there's no irritation i can keep it you know that motor is just strong it did take me a while to get get used to um, actually liking this blade but it's it's one of the best trimmers on the market right now i honestly think babyless does make the best cordless trimmers that's my opinion uh, y'all can leave in the comments how stupid I am if y'all disagree. <laughs> Somebody will. And here we are with my uh, Andis, the uh, Copper Masters, just going in, just fading in his tips from, of his sideburns of the beard, just going into the skin a little bit. Again, I do not use guards for the most part on the beard. It's just kind of knowing the weight of the, the, the clipper and just going into it. Uh, so yeah, you just, you just, you just giving it a nice fade, a nice blend uh, into, the, into the ball. Here's just the other side doing the same exact thing, making sure everything's clean and smooth, using my comb, working that lever, working with the weight of the blade. Here I am with the razor edge spray. This is just a... Uh, it's a, it's a spray to kind of get the, the line lumps a little, they pop out a little bit more, it helps dry out the skin. So when you're lining out, everybody who's looking for that, I guess that ash line, it works for it. This is one pair of my <laughs> GTXs that this, I still use these for up under the neck because the under the neck is a very sensitive area and these seem to still work the best for me. So I still have one of my pairs on the station when they working they are pretty good trimmers 
and now we're just gonna get this beard lined up finish the whole thing have everything come together as smooth as clean as possible When you're going in, whether it's the C cup or you're trying to get that beard to really curve, you want to make sure that you're using the corner of the blade, not really placing the whole thing down. You just want to use the corner and just kind of let it glide. That's why you got to make sure that your, your blades are not too sharp because you want to make sure that you're able to move that blade across the skin. And as y'all can see, I do use different tools throughout the cut. Sometimes just some work better on different textures of hair. Some work better on skin, different areas. I still like to use my um, my Andes T outliners up under the beard. I mean, up under the nose because they still got that. With it, with a skeleton like that, it seemed like it got a good extension on it, so I'm not bumping into the nose as much as as much as I do with other trimmers. And here we go, another tool, FX3 shavers, best one on the market. The Andes was good. But once it come down to it, this is the best one that, that don't lose its juice. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still using it. As you can see, I'm pulling the skin, making sure that I'm not irritating anything at all, making everything lay down as smooth as possible. And this here is just uh once somebody get a bald head you want to you want to put some type of oil to it and then throw some sheen on it make sure that you rub everything in you want that thing to shine keep it smooth here's the finished product you know so you know just a quick video trying to show off the uh caliber 380s if you like the video hit the thumbs up if you dislike it hit the thumbs down comment share subscribe and i'll be back with another one Peace.